Welcome to Tuesday Talk. Now that we have channel membership, I'm gathering my ideas for Tuesday Talk from you. So my first member is Twitch from Creep Designs by Twitch. You need to check out her channel. I have a lot to learn from her. So everybody would benefit from checking out her channel. I asked for an idea. She said, I feel so much pressure. Mm, prep? So I said, prep it is. We covered a lot of this last week because I was doing some cabinets. So the first step would be remove doors and hardware. That's if you're doing a kitchen. So obviously some other rules are going to apply if you're working with furniture. So you would remove the hardware such as the drawer pulls, etc. if you are working with furniture and then set it aside. But you always want to clean your hardware as well. So clean and degrease is next. I use especially the word degrease with kitchen cabinets because obviously that's a, a big deal. I use a TSP called White Lightning. A lot of people use vinegar. Uh, it, it's Nothing is wrong. Dawn dish detergent is also good. But you always want to remember then the second step is to take the water and rinse it. You also want to make sure for furniture that you're vacuuming inside, especially if it's a really old piece. You would also wash and rinse the insides of the drawers as well. If it's for a client, you want it to look good and smell good. You can also use waxes that are scented to refresh the drawers. Now, I didn't have this category in last week, so I, I just popped it in, didn't put a number in, so they'll be out of order in case anyone's counting. But inspect and repair is really a critical step. Assuming most kitchen cabinets are going to be okay, but not always. <laughs> I was working on this bathroom last week, if you might recall. Didn't even realize till I got there that they were water damaged and the veneer was peeling. All that was on hand was that backling, so I used it. Um, this dresser had a big split in it, and I used um, Durham's wood putty for that. Uh, sometimes you can wood glue the drawers. As you go on, you'll understand more what it takes to repair. You'll gather more tools and more equipment and more glues to do these repairs as you go on. Next was scuff sanding. Now that's fine if you're just going to go ahead and paint right away and everything's in good order. Um, if not, then you need to get into some more serious sanding. But scuff sanding is just using like a 220 grit and just wiping down the surface with sanding pad. Next is the three S's, scraping, stripping, and sanding. Now you don't have to do all of these things, so don't be intimidated. It's just as you go along, you may choose to do as it applies, but you can scrape, you can sand, you can strip, or you can do all three, sometimes on the same piece. So it just all depends what you're working on and as your skill level progresses you will know what you need to do let's take a second to talk about primers primers aren't always necessary but knowing which one is which and what they're for will help you a bonding primer is necessary whenever you're going to be painting a slick surface there is one on the market from dixie bell called slick stick but there's others on the market um, you can check your paint section, but it helps to adhere. If you're working with a countertop, perhaps, or a shiny laminate surface, or plastic, or glass, it just depends on what you're painting, sometimes metal. Stain blocking. When you have an older piece that has lots of tannins in the woods, how do you know? <laughs> um, sometimes you'll know from cleaning if you're getting a lot of brown um, on your cleaning rag. Um, if you have any surfaces that you've uh, sanded raw, you're going to need a stain blocker. Some products will have both a bonding primer and a stain blocker built in. 
Here I've applied a coat of slick stick, or actually two coats, and now I'm sanding it before I paint. This is a countertop. It was slick, so I needed that. Didn't need any uh, stain blocker here, just a bonding primer. And now you're ready for some paint. Again, with these countertops, I, I paint uh, with my color here. And we're not going to get into sealing and all that stuff today because we're just talking about prep. And I'm so glad that you came along today to talk about it. So if you want to have a peek at how this bathroom countertop and cabinets turned out, uh, here it is. So um, that was really a quick job for a client, but it got their bathroom ready for rent. Uh, also this week, just since it's Tuesday talk, I went to a bridal fair with my rustic bridal and event rentals. Here it comes. Here's the commercial. You knew it was coming. So if you want to be involved in what I do on Tuesday talk, if you want to know something or see me do something, just subscribe. Just hit join. It's only 99 cents a month. So I hope to be working on your ideas next week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also hit subscribe so you won't miss anything. Hit that notification bell. Join us at LaVintageDecor.company on Instagram. We're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.